Good morning, friends, and happy Wednesday. Today, we have a showing on our house which is in about 45 minutes. And um, basically what I like to do, obviously before we have a showing, is I just kind of like to spruce everything up, make sure the bed is made, make sure the counters and stuff are cleaned off in the kitchen, make sure that our bathroom is cleaned up and wiped down on the sink and everything. And I just kind of put everything that's loose and laying out, putting all that stuff away. So the house looks nice and fresh and clean and presentable for people who want to come look at it. The deets on the people or person who is coming to look at the house today does not have a house to sell, which is a good thing. And they are solid as in being pre-approved, everything is good, and they can move in pretty much right away. So as long as they don't have a house to sell, that is kind of exactly what we need because, oh my gosh, if we could get a contract on this house today, all of this stress and all of this anxiety and all of this worry will completely be lifted off of my shoulders because I am telling you right now, guys, I'm ready to go. I mean, after just sitting here for a week, twiddling my thumbs, actually a week and a half now, sitting here twiddling my thumbs, thinking something is gonna happen and then nothing does. It is so freaking annoying. We had several people walk through the house last week. One of them that we thought was gonna give us a, a cash offer because that's exactly what their realtor told ours. And then that kind of fell through because the dad who was giving her the money and the fiance were in agreement about something. And I'm like, I'd be kicking that fiance to the curb if he ain't gonna be in agreement about in this house. Anyway, um, but we move on, we digress. We moved on and um, we just gotta keep moving on and hopefully, you know, somebody will eventually buy. And so, um, again, crossing my fingers, hoping that it happens today, hoping that today is the day um, that we have some news. But anyway, so yeah, obviously, you know, I made up my bed, but I don't have all my like pretty pillows and stuff on it because those are all packed away. But I've made up a bed and this is what it looks like. I got some new sheets the other day too at Target. Um, look at how pretty this color blue is. And then I got the, these are the sheets that I got. And then I always get like a solid, um, standard pillowcase to match the printed ones. I just love doing that. Uh, but anyway, I just think these are so pretty. It's such a pretty pattern. I love all of the colors. And, um, obviously, you know, I packed all of my sheets away and I only have like you know, three sets of sheets, which yes, I could continue to wash them over and over again and just put them back on the bed, but I don't really like to do that. So, um, another thing that I like to do before, um, seriously, like right before I leave my house is I like to go through the house and I like to spray it with a really nice, um, like, um, house spray, um, room spray. This is that Caldrea linen and room spray. This is from Grove Collab. And I absolutely love the way that this stuff smells. It just makes the house smell so nice and fresh and clean and welcoming. Um, what is this? It's in the Sea Salt Neroli. Um, and it's a number, whatever, I don't know if that matters, the number 17 or whatever, but yeah, this is on Grove. I have a link to Grove collab in the description box below if you guys are interested in um, getting anything from Grove. I just placed an order yesterday from Grove and hopefully that stuff will be in, you know, in the next couple of days or so and I'll show you guys what I got. But because I've been out of like dish soap and stuff, well, I'm not out of dish soap, I'm going to be out of dish soap because I packed it all up and we're just kind of like, living on the minimal stuff and the basics pretty much but um this is what the kitchen kind of looks like again empty with nothing in it um, i actually turned on the lights that are up here you guys can barely see that i have lights that are up there and lights oh you could probably see them better up here i have lights that are up there as well so those are a bit of a reflection so it looks really nice up there just kind of giving it a little bit more of a pop and a little bit more of a you know a wow factor coolness since i don't have any of my decorations up i have to do something um again pantry still has all the boxes and stuff in it i have stuff laying here on the um shelves and stuff that we are using i, I laughed yesterday i'm like oh the pantry looks like it used to look packed full of stuff 
after I cleaned it all out once. And then the other thing that I kind of go around and do is I have to turn around, turn on all of the lights when I get ready to leave the house too. That way everything is nice and bright and they can see everything. Even though it is nice and bright in here, the sun is actually kind of behind the clouds right now, so it's not as bright as I would like it to be. But for the most part, I just kind of go around and I turn on all the lights. But this is the dining room. Again, everything's nice and cleaned up. I mopped and swept the floors in here. I have jazz music playing just to kind of give you that nice little like welcoming vibe, chillax, have a glass of wine, stay and hang out for a while. Ah, and then everything else is pretty much done as well. Obviously, you know, there's not much we could do with bedrooms being full of stuff at this point. My bedroom back here is still full of stuff, but at least everything is, you know, organized and clean up. They can still walk in here and see how the bedrooms and stuff look, um, laundry room, all of that good stuff. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and go around the house, spraying all that stuff, turning all the lights on, go to the bathroom one last time, and then I will get ready to leave. I thought about going to Starbucks really quick and getting a Frappuccino and uh, just hanging out for a little bit while they look at the house. So I'm going to go ahead and turn these lights on, spray, and then we're going to leave. Good morning, friends, and happy Friday. Uh -uh! I have some great news. <coughs> That's not one of it. Um, so if you guys have been following me on my Instagram and my Facebook page, Life and Lemons, I've been really trying to keep you guys um, updated on our housing selling buying situation and uh, as of yesterday afternoon we actually have a another contract on our house which is fantastic okay what's the hold up here why is there a big line right here um, we have a contract on our house which I am super excited about the people who bought our house are young doctors starting off doctors and they paid cash for the house so I mean like lucky them they don't have a house payment nice right uh, but yeah they paid cash are paying cash for the house and we've got all the contracts and stuff signed everything's you know working itself out and um, tomorrow they have an inspection which is so silly because we just had an inspection done it's like come on do you really need to have an inspection done? You have all the paperwork. My realtor sent it to your realtor. Let's just move on past the inspection. Anyway, no big deal. No big deal at all. No no big deal at all. What we needed to have fixed from before the inspection before we had fixed. So it's all good. I'm not worried about it. Again, they're just little minor things with wear and tear of a house. And Brian and I are usually on top of all the like little things that could go wrong if we are aware of them, you know? So, um, but the, on the last inspection, this is just probably irrelevant for you guys, honestly, but on the last inspection, they said that our hot water heater looks dated. Um, we just bought that hot water heater in November or December and it's brand new and I have the receipt and everything. So <laughs> dated. What? Anywho. Um, nonetheless, so they're having an inspection tomorrow. Not a big deal at all. Um, we are going to go spend that time because we're going to be there at the house for like three hours. Um, we are going to go spend that time at our friend Ray and Sandy's house and I'm going to be picking up wings and we're going to be smoking wings. They're going to be, get wings and we're just going to smoke wings and hang out for a, a little while and uh, just kind of enjoy each other's company while our house is having the inspection done. We are also trying, they kind of put down that they wanted to close on July 17th and we're like, no, that's so far away. We don't want to close that far out. So which we have a huge dilemma about the closing because um, we want to close like July 8th or 9th. Well, we can't close like they have to only do it on Friday nights because of their work schedule. And I'm like, well, can we do it on a weeknight? So like maybe the 9th. Hold on a second. I'm going to, I got to get my car washed and then um, I'll finish talking, talking to you guys about that. So remind me where I left off. Alrighty. So... We're headed into the club so grab a drink and let's finish talking okay so uh we were trying to shoot for like july 9th then so we can sign the paperwork have everything moved out of our house and get to huntsville on the 10th 
However, can you guys hear me? Is that so loud? Anyway, so July 10th. I'm flying to Orlando on the 10th <laughs> from Nashville. Um, which is fine because it would actually put me closer to Nashville if we were already in Huntsville. So loud. So loud. Okay, am I ever going to be able to finish this story? So, we are, or I am, flying out of Nashville on July 10th to Orlando with my friend Kim. So that's kind of, it's like pushing things like quickly so i mean if we could like seriously sign the paperwork here thursday night get up friday morning leave go to huntsville and sign the papers there say around oh my goodness i don't know two three four five six oh it's still pushing it oh my word it's still pushing it for my flight so and then I have to drive to Nashville for my flight. Oh my gosh, it's so busy and hectic And then poor Brian is gonna have to deal with um, Moving in the house by himself unloading unpacking all of that craziness and I Just I would feel horrible and you know, that's something that we both want to enjoy together. So it's like oh geez what do we do what do we do but it, it's it, we're gonna have to make it work somehow because we really just don't want to wait till the 17th we just don't want to i mean just don't want to but um anyway so that's the dilemma our house is sold crossing our fingers that everything plays out like it's supposed to and this is like it this is like the done deal it's a cash deal they don't have to have a house to sell we should all be good to go so whew. and the best part about it is we still got our house in alabama oh and i do know that those those there are those of you who do not follow me on instagram or on facebook my life in lemons page so this is like news to you guys first time hearing it so yes um our house is sold again and we are moving to alabama and we still got the house in alabama so we are very very happy about that but i needed to get out of the house today because i have just been like stuck in the house i haven't really wanted to go anywhere i just kind of sit in the chair all day you know in between doing laundry obviously because i have nothing else to do in the house because everything's packed away so today I told myself I'm just gonna get out of the house. I'm gonna get myself dressed if I put makeup on do my hair Well straighten my hair and then I'm going to Hobby Lobby to walk around and look around and um, Not not necessarily get anything because I don't need anything, but I do need double-sided tape Brian said this guy almost like calm down, dude um, so anyway, I am going to I'm um, going to Hobby Lobby and walk around and check some things out and see what's new. I know I've heard that they have some of their fall and Halloween decorations out, so I'm gonna check that stuff out. And I just thought I would take you guys with me because that is something that we like to enjoy and do together. So that is what the plan is. So let's go do that and uh, yeah, let's go to Hobby Lobby. So I heard correctly, they do have a bunch of their fall stuff out. Candles which is so nice. Pretty, pretty candles. Little wreaths and stuff, which will look nice on the front door of the new house. They've got all kinds of pumpkins and stuff. Oh my goodness, it's fall time. Pumpkins everywhere. And this is all fall stuff too. Mugs. Oh, look how cute. That's a rolling pin with the squirrel stuff on it. How cute is that? Love that. And then of course little pumpkin things for place settings. Cute. I just came over here because I love this thing. It's like a butcher block with feet on it. Like a little stand. It's 49, 50 bucks. 50 bucks for that thing. I'm like, ah, no, I think I'll skip it. I like these type of mats too. These are nice. $7.99. He's cute, little hedgehog, cute. They have all kinds of these little things. These are so cute to put in like tiered trays to like give it height. I love that, very cute. Oh my gosh, I love these. Look how cute those are, they're little teeny tiny. 
cutting boards. That is adorable. $3.99 for that. I'm gonna get that. That is so cute. It's a tiny cutting board. It's so cute. They've got a lot of cute stuff. For fall, are these plastic? I don't know. Yeah, they're plastic. Nice. They have hand soaps and stuff too. I love all of these pretty bowls and stuff. These are fun too to put in tiered trays. I really do like all of their like vintage colors. Look at these are so cute. I love all of those colors. And they have like truck that matches it. And then they have like these cute little houses, ceramic houses. But I think these are for like place settings because there's like a slit at the top where you can put like a place setting. Those are cute too. I love all those. Ah, oh, so cute. And they have all of their black and white check stuff too, which is really adorable. And they have gray checkered stuff as well. Love this stuff. Here is even more stuff. And like these things are perfect, like I said, for like tiered trays. So if you guys ever have any ideas or need ideas for tiered trays, that's what you can use. Those or these. These are adorable too. Farm Fresh Pumpkins. $2.99. Ooh, I think I'm going to get those. That one had something on it. So I think I'm going to get this one, and I like the black one. That's cute. And they have the pumpkins to match. And a cute little pillow. Those are adorable. Oh my gosh. All of this stuff is so darn cute. They have this stuff too. I'm not a big, like, put these in my yard type of thing, so I always kind of skip those. But I do have this. So, which I hang on my china cabinet at home, which I will hang on there again this year. But I do like these, these beads, those are fun. Cute little pumpkins, very cute. Grateful, thankful, the galvanized. I like the welcome friends ones as well. And here, I love these colors. These are such great, fun colors. Ooh, they have these. These are great. That's a thankful. These are $8.99. Those are great. I love putting those on tiered trays, too. Those are nice. I'll wait on those. And I love this. This pumpkin's really cute. Cute colors. Lots of cute stuff. Well, it wouldn't be Hobby Lobby if we already didn't see Christmas stuff. Can you believe it? Wow. This is their like a clearance aisle. This is a really cute runner. I love that. That would be pretty like outside on the table. That's cute. That is $24.99 with 50% off. Are these glass? Yep. Cute. This the stuff that's plastic. Those are fun. All of this stuff is 50% off. All of their like spring, yeah, spring shop. All of it's 50% off. All their plates down here. All that stuff, 50% off. Mm hmm. These are really cute too for tiered trays as for just like decoration too. Those are cute. I love these like napkins. Those are great or even like towels to use them as towels. I like those. They have all kinds of cute little stuff. Oh look at that spatula with a unicorn on it. How cute. Bottle topper. Egg ring. Adorbs. Adorbs. I bought this a while ago to use at the new house. Can't wait to get it out and use it actually. So cute. These are pretty. Ooh, look at glass, but those are pretty. The purple is pretty too. Really pretty. And then they have all the cute little pastels and stuff over here too. This is all cute stuff. Very cute. 
all your outdoor barbecuing stuff. Also very cute. I actually kind of needed one of these, but I doubt if I get it here. $11.99, that's for like vegetables and stuff to put in the grill. Nice. Nice. Cute stuff. I wanted to look at their clocks too because I know that I will be getting a clock when we get there. Um, one for like the main living room area and then one for Brian's office. But um, I love these. Like these ones are really cute and I love that one. Those are super cute too, but they're not on sale yet, but I won't get anything just yet. Alrighty guys, so I am back home and um, that was kind of like a nice short little trip to Hobby Lobby. I got to look at a few things and you know, cut some ideas that I obviously want to use when I move into the new house. Um, but I did pick up a few things and that's what I'm going to share with you guys now. Uh, first things first, these are those cute little like, um, you know, glass jars with stars on them. I got a white one and a red one. This one kind of has a chip on it, but I'm not too worried about it. I'll just turn it over and you'll never see the back of it or that side of it anyway. Um, anyway, these were $9.99 with 40% off. So I got both of these. I'm just going to wrap them back up in this tissue and then pack them away. Um, good for 4th of July, but obviously I don't have any 4th of July decor out, so I won't be using it now. Um, I did pick up these also, these cute little like blocks. Um, these says farm fresh and then pumpkin patch. I thought these would be super cute for like my tiered trays around the house. So those were $2.99. Those were really cute. I don't think those were on clearance or anything because, um, that's all their new fall stuff. And then I did get this cute little... Um, cutting board it is super super cute I just fell in love with it because it was just like super tiny so I just thought that'd be kind of cute in the house this was $3.99 and I did pick up the double-sided tape that Brian needed me to pick up and then this basket I picked up because I was kind of looking for a basket to go in the new hallway bathroom the one that's outside of the dining room the one that's across the street across the street across the hall from brian's office anyway this is just to put some toilet paper on because it doesn't have like a cabinet in there and you can't really store toilet paper like on the floor or anywhere because there's no cabinet in there we could store it in my bathroom across the hall that would be fine but um, I just kind of want a basket in there because if somebody's in there and they run out, then they'll have it. But anyway, I said I will put this basket in there and I just thought it was really cute. It was $24.99 and it was 50% off. So I just got this basket. I thought it was cute. So I'm just going to wrap this stuff up and just kind of put this stuff back in that basket. And then I'm going to um, put the basket in a box. And then I'm going to go get the Old Navy stuff that I bought the other day because I told you guys I would share with you guys what I bought. So um, I'm going to go do that too really quick and then I'll come back and I'll share it with you. Alrighty, so these are the items that I picked up at Old Navy the other day. I've already washed them, so that's why this one kind of looks a little bit wrinkled. But anyway, I got this shirt, a little sleeveless shirt. I loved how it's kind of cinched up here at the top, but I'm going to wear this with like my white shorts or something. Super cute. Very nice lightweight and flowy i got this shirt i've already wore this once i wore it with a pair of black shorts and i absolutely love the way that it looked i love the way that it fit it just was awesome and i just i just love it it's cute pretty colors and then i got this cute dress this is a cute cute dress i mean look at the uh, just navy blue with stars on it. I love it. Super cute. And then I did get a pair of shorts and another shirt as well. But I wore that the other day and it's in the laundry. So when I wear it again, I will let you guys know that, hey, this is what I got at Old Navy. I hadn't been to Old Navy in so long and they really didn't have a lot to choose from. But what they did have, I did try to get. Um, there was something else I wanted to say too, but I don't remember what it was. So, not that big of a deal. But um, I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog here. That way I can get this up for you guys. Because um, I promised you guys a video on Friday and today's Friday. Um, but, yeah. From here on out though, I it's going to be very, very sporadic as far as um, videos go. Because... Kind of like what I said before, I really don't do much around the house right now because of the fact that everything is packed up and we're ready to go. And I don't really have anything to do or anything to share with you guys. Um, but I mean, like I said, it may be like, I may do like a, another cleaning day or something where I'm gonna clean the floors again because I do obviously do that quite often because they get dirty, they get dusty and, and all that good stuff. But since we're not gonna have any more showings, thank the Lord. Um, <laughs> 
and the house is sold thank the lord um, i don't have to like do all of the quick like rush to clean or prep or stage the house anymore um for all of that but um, we are still trying to work out the closings and obviously that's just going to be i don't know when <laughs> I just want it to be over. <laughs> I want it to be over with and done. I'm like the other night, like Wednesday night, was it Wednesday night? Yeah, Wednesday night when they came to look at the house and I was kind of going through the whole thing again. Cause you know, I, I mopped the floors again and I dusted everything and I cleaned up everything and wiped down the, the sinks again in the, in the bathrooms and you know, just made sure everything was just kind of tidied up that way. When they came into the house, it smelled good. It looked good. It was clean and fresh. Um, but after I was doing all of that and then right when we were getting ready to walk out the door, you know, I take my little spray stuff that I use from Grove Lab and I just kind of spray it all over the house. The way the house smells so nice and fresh when they walk in the front door. Um, I wanted that done and I was saying, oh my God, I really hope I don't have to do this anymore. Please let this be the last time I have to do this. And it was. Yay! So um, they were here though for, did I even tell you guys that? I don't even know. When... They were here for an hour looking at the house. Um, their showing was at six o'clock Wednesday night. And you know, at 6.15, 6.20, we're like, Brian and I were across the street in our car watching. And um, it was like 6.15, 6.20, like, wow, they're staying a long time. This is a good sign. And then 6.30 rolled around. I'm like, dang, they're in there for 30 minutes. Oh my gosh, this is a really good sign. Then at 6.40, I'm like, oh my gosh, they're still not coming out. So Brian and I were like, okay, this is it. This is a done deal. You know, they're gonna give us an offer tonight. And uh, 10 to seven, they finally walked out of the house and then they stood in the driveway for like five, 10 minutes or whatever, just kind of talking with their, with their um, realtor and all that good stuff. And then like two hours later, we got an offer. So we kind of knew that was going to be the deal. And we literally got the paper offer, <laughs> like got the paper offer. It wasn't just like a text from our realtor, which I feel so bad for her. I'm sure, so, I'm so sure she is ready to be done with us. <laughs> Um, I just feel bad. We're like taking her through the ringer with us and she's jumped on this crazy train with us. But I have realized during this whole process, because of the type of person that I am, I could not be a, a realtor. As much as I think I would enjoy it, um, being able to walk into people's homes and show homes and all that good stuff and help, you know, stage homes or whatever for people, I could not be a, a, a realtor because of all of the um, pressure and the nonsense and the waiting and the negotiating that just doesn't happen in enough time for my liking. I, I couldn't be one. I'd be like, let's go. Let's get this ball rolling. Let's move on. Let's, are you going to make an offer or not? You know, type of thing. So I get very, very, very impatient, but obviously my patience has paid off because obviously I've sat here for an extra two weeks <laughs> since we were supposed to close on our other house. And, um, I have sat here being very patient and going, oh my God, I hope it sells before July 1st because after July 1st, I'm seriously going to like blow. I'm going to blow if it doesn't sell by July 1st. Well, thankfully it did. So we are super excited though. We are ready to go. I am ready to start this new journey at our new house and stuff, but I just kind of wanted to let you guys know. Thank you guys so very much for sticking this out with me, jumping on the crazy train with me, with my ups and my downs, my roller coaster and the craziness of everything and just being there for me as well to allow me to vent and share my frustrations. Um, you guys have been so amazing and such a big help with your prayers and your pixie dust and your well wishes and the St. Joseph that I should have probably buried in my backyard a long time ago even though I am not Catholic so someone had to tell me about the whole St. Joseph thing but I was just like all right I was like this close to trying to see I mean where do I even find one of those I don't even know <laughs> but I was so tempted to like find a Catholic friend and go like hey do you have St. Joseph that I can borrow I'm gonna bury him in the backyard because I need my house to sell so um but I did learn that's something that um, Catholics do, which I think is very interesting. So anyway, thank you guys so much for that. If you guys 
were the ones who suggested suggested it. I, I totally appreciate it because I learned something new and that was just rather interesting. So, oh my gosh, you guys. But yeah, I think just the vlogs are going to be kind of like, you know, sparse. I guess between now and then I will definitely vlog because I will definitely keep you guys up to date and posted and especially on life and lemons on my Facebook page and on Instagram. So make it sure that you guys are following me over there. That way you guys can stay updated as well if I do not post a vlog. But for the most part, I mean, obviously I'm going to vlog the moving process, the last bits of, you know, packing up his house and closing and, and driving to Huntsville and whatnot. But, and I also will be vlogging my Disney trip that's coming up two weeks from today. So I'll be doing all of that, which I'm super excited about. I do have been anxiety about the whole trip to Disney though, um, especially with the COVID cases rising and um, me flying on a plane. So I'm a little um, a bit um, anxious about all of that. Um, I definitely, you know, have a face mask that I'm going to be using or bringing with me. Hand sanitizer, obviously, all the the precaution, precautionary measures that we'll be taking. But I, I will have to admit, I am a bit anxious about flying um, during a pandemic. But um, hopefully, all will go well, and um, I'll get back to Alabama, and we will start our new journey and our new life in our new home and i cannot wait to share all of that with you guys it's it's going to be so much fun so much new content coming out because of that new furniture new decorating style just back patio i'm going to be able to decorate i'm so excited about that i have ideas in my head of how i want it to look and what i want to do same with everything in the house but it's just going to be fun to share that adventure with you guys so um uh, thanks for sticking around with me i really do appreciate it you guys do not even know i love you all thank you so much i will see you guys in my next video have a great weekend bye Always alone. Oh, oh.